U.S. government. Joining me now, Matt Ford, a UAP political consultant and Emmy award-winning host of The Good Trouble. Matt, thanks for being here. So I understand you've been advising David Fravor, or Fravor, a retired U.S. Navy pilot who will be testifying tomorrow. He had a close encounter in 2004 with the so-called Tic Tac UFO. What advice have you given him ahead of his testimony? Uh, actually, I have to say, I, I have not been uh, giving him any advice. Uh, it, I do, in the in sort of um, in the background, uh, offer uh, advice, political consulting to uh, officials on Capitol Hill that are dealing with this particular issue. But in terms of uh, the witnesses, I have not. But uh, Commander Fravor, I think uh, it would be safe to say he's going to have a lot to say, as will uh, David Grush. Um, and, uh, you know, and uh, uh, Ryan Graves as well. So I think this is going to be something the American people are definitely going to want to tune in for. So, Matt, why should Americans trust these three witnesses who are testifying? Uh, do you think that they are credible, and how will they, they share that credibility with lawmakers and with the American public tomorrow? Well, all of these, all of these individuals. I mean, they have held some of the nation's highest security clearances. I mean, for instance, uh, David Grush. He, you know, he worked in the intelligence uh, world uh, for over 14 years. He was uh, one of the the main intelligence officials on the UAP task force. These individuals, they hold the nation's highest uh, clearances. And then, when you're talking about Ryan Graves and uh, David Fravor. These men have been entrusted, as are all military pilots, uh, our airmen and women, uh, to handle these multi-million dollar machines. These, these vehicles are just not handed to anyone, and they have to have the proper security clearances to operate these things. Do you think, though, that this conversation stalls again without direct evidence that we don't see better images, videos, and firsthand accounts of any unexplained objects? I don't think so. I, I think in particular, David Grush is going to offer quite a, I would say a, a good amount of a, a sort of new perspective to this, to this thing. But what I would say, the most important element to that the American people, I think, should be aware of is Congress is very much aware that this is a significant issue. So when you have uh, senators like uh, Kirsten Gillibrand and Marco Rubio, uh, Senator Gillibrand, for instance, sits on both the uh, Senate Armed Services and the Intelligence Committee. These folks are, are privy to intelligence product that certain members of Congress are not. So you, you have to just ask yourself, the these, people, these lawmakers, what they're seeing, they are not going to just, you know, cover this thing just out of the blue without having good reason. The laws that have been passed, none of these, uh, none of these laws that are related to UAP, they are not made in a vacuum. Representative Tim Burchett, who is leading tomorrow's hearing, says the government is lying. But might there also be plenty of reasons why a lot of this information has been classified and may still remain classified? Well, I think that there certainly are going to be national security reasons for certain ele elements to be uh, classified. But I had uh, Senator Jill Brand on, on our show back in May, and I posed a similar question to her. And, and really the question was, do we as Americans have the right to know that we are being interacted with by a non-human intelligence? And her response I thought was really, really on point. And that was that, that it, is not, it is not the place of let's say 50-ish uh, non-elected officials to decide that, that we cannot be told that truth. That is not a national security issue. Mm. Well, we'll be watching closely. Matt Ford, uh, thank you for your time this morning. Appreciate talking to you.